Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I am, I got a suggestion, uh, put the comment up on screen, I got a suggestion to kinda tutorial, and I thought, hmm, I should make a research pack tutorial. Now, you probably probably know something different, this is no longer on a Chromebook. You c This still works on a Chromebook, if you follow, I will say what steps will not work on a Chromebook, but but one of the mainest things about creating a pack is you know you want to be able to uh change the manifest you cannot change manifests like you cannot change the manifest on chromebook the job dot json cuz what you would do is you see this uuid if you this is the main thing. Because if you were to download somebody else's manifest pack from a different folder and put it in here, like okay, yeah, this should work. It has a better name than vanilla resource pack. That would not work because they, if they have used that pack, like if you if you're downloading it off of your friend, like I suggested to them that I can make one for them. Like I can just make a manifest folder of what they would want with a custom UUID. Because if if I say this was actually already in used in in use in a pack which it's not because I downloaded this just now so it's not um from the website that is top link in the description um all those yeah just the last video is also top link okay whatever <laughs> the description will be <laughs> but yeah so um it would not work because that pack is already in use but if I were to give them a custom one then they would have the name they can just drag it in there Basically, how you do it is, um, um, this is for people who may have Windows. If you don't have Windows, skip to whatever timestamp pops up on your screen right now. But if you want to see it, just to see it, I guess, then, um, come along. Need to find it. So, basically, if you have Windows, um, what you would do is you would go to this link which I will still put in the description you would um you click refresh copy then you would want to go over back to your there's two of these for some reason you would want to go back over to your um text file and then grab and then if you copied your UID which I hope you did you would go like this Wait, is it not showing you? You would want to go to your manifest folder, paste it, grab another UUID, refresh the page, copy it, and then go back over to the manifest, and boom, there you go. Now you have a whole fresh pack. Change the description to whatever you want. I'm um, like video, or I'm gonna do that. Video pack. And the description will be subscribe because you should do that. And then, um, subscribe you should do that. And then you wanna save. And now, from everything from this point on. You can do, you should be able to do on Chromebook. So if you only have a Chromebook, then this part forward is for you. So now you're on here. The main things you want to edit is the textures. So if all you want to do is edit the textures, you can delete these. You can delete this. You can delete this. I'm just gonna edit textures because uh, you don't really care about anything else. You can delete all these. Deleting. And then I forgot this, so. There. Now the pack icon. Okay, so now that we have the pack icon open, as you can see, it's open right here. I'm just gonna do something real quick. I'm going to. Basically, like, make it so it looks like it's been hand drawn. So let's just. And then grab the random green. Okay. Now let's just go. Kind of like, wait, no, actually, I want a dark, yeah, okay. I just draw over it. I'm just gonna do this for my pack icon. 
and I will see you when I'm done. Okay, guys, so I have finished my... Oh, shit. Alright, guys, so I have finished my... Um, my drawing. I drew all this. Um, as you can tell, it's very well drawn. And then what you would want to do is you would want to click save, obviously. Download the PNG and... Save it onto your file. Your f desktop. Or... Or, because you're probably on a Chromebook, if you're watching this, you're going to save it onto your, somewhere in your files that's not in your normal, it's not in your folder. It's not in your main area, like your pack file. And then you grab the original icon, uh, and then it'll say, like, when you drag it over, you might, you'll delete your original icon and then replace it with this one, basically. Um, and then now, so now I have these two done. Now textures, you can edit anything in textures. I only want to edit blocks right now, so... Actually, yeah. I only want to edit blocks right now. So I'll delete everything else. But inside of blocks, inside of, inside of blocks. Um, I'm gonna only, the only, like, this is for maintenance, if you want to only have this like a small pack so it's not taking up so much space just find the blocks that you want to edit so, like I want to edit the grass I'm gonna basically what you do is you'll type it, you'll if you can search it search grass I'm gonna take all the grass things grass carried I'm gonna move to desktop you would just probably move it to another side. Grass side carried. And grass top. Move to desktop. And then now, all I want to do is edit the grass. Because that's all I'm going to do. So then, I would go back. Then I would, uh, then I would select everything in the folder. And, you know, just... Boom, in recycling bin. And boom. Then you bring back your original the way with that you want to edit. Now time lapse this because I want people to see it, I guess. And let's go. Alright. Now that we are done. You see these four? Three. I'm going to move over the new ones. Boom, they have been replaced. Now, how to turn your pack into a Minecraft folder. Right, like a Minecraft thing. Go to texture, go back to the original pack, right here. What you would have to do is, I know there's a way to do it on Chromebook somehow. Now, this is also a Windows thing, because if you're on Chromebook, there is a way to do it, but I can't get it to work. I mean, I do, I can, but it's very difficult, so I'm sorry. But... If you're on Windows, this is another Windows thing. So, what you would want, what you would have to do is you would have to turn the folder into a zip folder, and then you would have to change the zip folder name, which it's kind of obvious. You have to change it to dot mc pack. But I can't do that because I can't see the. You know what? Let me let me just let me let me let me just. There, yeah. oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Extensions. So stupid. Okay. Forgot that's not how that works. You want to go over to, and then to MC Pack. And then, you know, you want to, you know, a lot of Minecraft. You can see that's currently loading right now. See, import started. Oh, it's here. Okay, never mind. So then, if you did everything right, 
and it should be here. Of course, if you're on Chromebook, you're probably going to have a, a not working name. But, as you saw, I had another. Then you want to load it, and then. Aww, the side. Side didn't work. Gosh dang it, whatever. Oh my god, that looks so weird. <laughs> so, as you can see, the grass <laughs> it looks very bad. Very bad, but. Um. Make custom texture packs or a tutorial on how to edit them. This video may have been confusing. If it was, tell me in the comments and I will remake it as best as I can. But this is the best that I can. Um, yeah, this is a tutorial on how to make custom texture packs. Um, whenever, but notice that whenever you want to make a new one, you're gonna have to re download the whole pack thing because you need a new custom UID if you're on Chromebook, unless you want to, um, you know. You know, hit me up on comments. I can maybe make one for you. And you just like, I don't know, you just tell me how I can send you it, or like, and what you want on it. You know, I'll do that just to, uh, you know, help, help, help you all. You Minecraft creators, modders, texture pack changers, I don't know what you guys are called. But, yeah, that's all for today's video. That's, it's kind of, I'm done. Um,. Chicken.